Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will do finding the equation of a line given the slope and y-intercept. So we are done with some of the methods on how to find the equation of a line. And this time, we are given the chance to find the equation of a line if the given informations are you have the slope and the y-intercept of a line. So I have here a certain form that you need to familiarize and I know na familiar na kayo dito we know that y is equal to mx plus b is your slope intercept form bakit siya tinawag the slope intercept form because you can easily identify your slope which is yung m natin this is your slope at yung b naman natin this is your y intercept by the way this kind of topic, or in this form, ito yung pinakamadaling gamitin para mahanap yung mga equation ng line natin. If the given R is slope and the y-intercept. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have problem number one. Find the equation of a line if the slope is negative 5 and y-intercept is equal to 6. So in the problem, here's the given information. We have your slope as negative 5. And your y-intercept is 6. So basically, kapag ganyan yung given, tandaan na, if the given r, your slope and y-intercept, you can use the formula or the form y is equal to mx plus b. So ang gagawin mo na naman dyan, lagay mo your m is equal to 5, your slope. Your b, your y-intercept is Six. All you need to do is to substitute the value of m and b to the given form. So all you need to do is to have this y is equal to 5, kasi yun yung m natin, and then x plus 6. Actually, we can accept this answer. y is equal to 5x plus 6 because it's already in slope-intercept form. But remember, in your problem you're asked to express your answer in standard form. Meaning, we need to convert that in to the form ax plus by is equal to c. Wherein, all you need to do is transpose 5x to the other side of the equation. So you have negative 5x plus y is equal to 6. Separate mo lang yung x term sa y term. And then, always remember... In converting equations in standard form, though na-isolate mo na si variable x and y dito, nakaiwalay na sila, kailangan pa rin yung first term mo, whether the first term, itong tinutukoy ko ha, is positive. If that is negative, kailangan mo siyang gawing positive. So all you need to do is multiply it by negative. Negative 1. So, walang magbabago sa value. Ang mangyari lang, mababago lang lahat ng sign. So you have 5x minus y is equal to negative 6. This is the equation for item number 1. Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless. Now, for example number 2, we have the problem find the equation of the line if the slope is 3 over 4 and the y-intercept is 0 and negative 5. Sir, um, bakit po yung ating y-intercept ay dalawa? Uh, don't worry, these are the coordinates of your y-intercept kaya hindi yan ganun kahirap. So again, in this kind of problem, you will be using the form y is equal to mx plus b. So, basically, kung hindi pa kayo ganun ka galing sa gantong problem, isulat mo muna yung information. m is equal to 3 over 4. Okay? Then, your y-intercept b is equal to negative 5. So 
So, substitute lang natin yung value natin. So, gawin natin your y is equal to 3 over 4. Palitan natin yung m. And then x. Since yung b natin is negative 5, you have minus 5. So, actually, again, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, okay na yan. Pero, um, since wala naman nalagay dyan, pero pwede na siya i-convert bilang ax plus by is equal to c. Again na, pwede na ito bilang equation. Pero, gawin natin standard form. ax plus by is equal to c. Ang gagawin lang natin is to eliminate first the denominator. So, you have y is equal to 3 over 4 x minus 5. Ako ang ginagawa ko dito, i-multiply ko muna yung buong equation by 4. Distribute natin, you have 4y, ito naman, sa so ito, is equal to 3x na lang. Pag multiply mo itong dalawang to, magiging 3x na lang kasi ma-eliminate si 4. Then, 4 times negative 5, that is minus 20. So, lipat natin si 3x sa kabila. So, you have negative 3x plus 4y is equal to negative 20. And then, ayan na naman yung problem natin. As you can see, your first term is negative. So, multiply by negative sign. Or negative 1. So, you will have 3x minus 4y is equal to 20. This is the standard form of the equation in the first problem. So, I hope na kayo ay natuto sa ating video tutorial about finding the equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept. Now, if meron kang requested topic sa ating video na to, you can comment down below kung ano yung gusto mong ipagawa sa ating tutorial as long as kaya kong gawin. Now, kung bago lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para update kita sa ating mga future uploads at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!